the corner of filament, the corner of fun, the filament corner. Alright, second attempt. And this would come out a lot better. So, there's the handle. And, well, up at the top's a little bad, but as you can see, I did what I said I was going to do. And I added in the uh, supports. So, that more than tripled the print time, but. In return you get a much better looking print and I had to cut the fan off whenever it started doing the blade there's you can see where the plastics shrunk it stopped doing that after I cut the fan off so now I just need to uh, snip these support beams and then and I guess then take the sword off of the build plate I'm worried about breaking the uh, blade I mean the end is the end's pretty bad all right I have detached the sword from the two support pillars and it broke in one spot and I've currently um, welding it back because this is, a, this is ABS but because it's ABS, this blade is fl it's flimsy and wobbly. Um, it probably wouldn't be like that in PLA. And uh, we'll probably have to increase the thickness to get one to come off the build plate without any wobble. But I was trying to make one close to realistic. But of course they're using metal not plastic so there's the other sword the, the table is cluttered but yep there's the other sword the it's missing the uh the messed up end michael saw the end of the sword hanging off the table and decided he was going to play with it and he tore the end off of it and he broke the uh, the handle as well so that's Michael for you and there's my honey jar well it's not actually honey it's ABS plastic I've been cannibalizing the uh, first sword and I've been applying that onto this sword into all these spots where the plastic has separated trying to basically weld the blade back together and then hopefully I can add something to help get rid of the wobble in the blade so of course the end's still messed up there's not much I can do there but yeah that's quite a bit of plastic